In this video, I'll show you how I created the Flux Capacitor UI on the Waveshare 1.47 inch ESP32 C6 board. Uh, this project was done for a subscriber who provided reference images and shared the concept of how it should work. With the onboard RGB LED, the final result looks amazing. As this was done for a subscriber, I didn't share the code but I'll show you how I created the UI animations using Easy Studio and the UI and board setup. He brought me these two WaveShare boards. Another interesting project is coming soon. Open Photo P and create a new project. Set the width to 172 pixels and the height to 320 pixels. Create a new file and paste the reference image. I need to copy and paste the flux capacitor elements into the display file. So I use the rectangle shape tool to select the shield area, then reduce the opacity to see the shield. Adjust the width and height as needed. For the round edges, open the properties panel and set the radius to match the shield area. Once done, press Ctrl or Command and click the shape area to create a selection. Then select the image layer and copy and paste it into the display file. Go to the edit menu and select free transform to scale the pasted image. Adjust the size and position. Repeat the steps for other UI elements. Use the tools of your convenience. For the metallic part, I use the rectangle tool to draw the shape. Double click the layer to open layer style and apply a gradient overlay. Repeat the steps for the bottom part. Using the eraser and brush tool, refine the edges. Apply a drop shadow to give the element a depth effect. For the digit area, fill it with color to remove the existing digits. Then load an LCD style font and check. I add a metallic texture to give more details. Once everything looks good, merge the static layers into a single layer. To do this, select the layers and press Ctrl E or Command E to merge. For the charging animation, I duplicate the layer and draw a glow effect using the brush tool, making it move from the center to the sides. Um, for the discharging animation, I create a series of layers and adjust the brightness and contrast. 
Once everything looks good, export the layers as PNG files. For this project, I use EEZ Studio instead of Squareline Studio to build the LVGL UI. Let me know in the comments if you want more videos with EZ Studio or Squareline Studio. Open EZ Studio, select the LVGL template and create a new project. Select the screen in the page tab and set the width and height. For the WaveShare 1.47 inch display, set the width to 172 pixels and the height to 320 pixels. You can find the resolution on the WaveShare product page. Then go to settings and set the width to 172 pixels and the height to 320 pixels again. Go to build settings and remove LVGL slash from the LVGL include path. Go to the bitmap panel and import the generated images. Go to the font panel, import the fonts, set the font size in pixels, and select the character range if needed. Go to the main screen and import the image widget from the component palette. Give it a name, select the image from the specific section, and set the position. For the animation, place the animation image widget from the visualizer section, then select the image sequences one by one. Set the width and height of the image and adjust the position. Enable repeat and set the durations as needed for the animation. Place the label widget, set the font, and adjust the properties to match the UI. Once everything looks good, build the project. Go to the WaveShare Wiki page and download the demo projects. We need the LVGL libraries and other display setup files to make the display work. Copy the libraries folder from the downloaded demo folder to a new folder. It contains the correct LVGL library. If needed, delete any unwanted libraries. Copy the generated UE folder from EEZ Studio to the Libraries folder. Then copy the .ino file from the demo folder. You also need the LVGL driver and display setup files. Rename the gay.ino file as you prefer and place it inside a folder with the same name. Open the .ino file and delete any unwanted functions and header files. In the Arduino settings, change the sketchbook location to the project folder. This ensures that Arduino adds libraries and the generated UI files from the project folder only. If Arduino asks to update libraries, do not update them. Add the UI header file and call the UI initialization function in the setup to initialize the UI. Then set the backlight to adjust the display brightness. Then select the ESP32C6 dev board in the appropriate port. Open Tools and set the parameters as per the instructions on the WaveShare Wiki. 
Once everything is done, compile and upload the code. The UI is ready. Later I added functions for counting and RGB LED. If you like this video, consider supporting. Change the destination folder to libraries slash UI. This will make exporting easier later with no need to copy and paste the UI files. I also created an OBP for Squareline Studio. You can find it on my GitHub and the link is in the description.